Hi, you guys. I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing, and today I want to talk to you about what we've learned in 2021 and which investing strategies you should bring into the new year. But with the new year comes new opportunities for you and your investing journey, no question about it, and for me and mine. And I'm here to help you guys bring some smart investment advice from 2021 into 2022 so you can start the year off on the right foot. Make sense? So real quick, if you want to challenge yourself and start off with a plan, which is a really good idea, right? Check out my 14-day financially fit challenge at the link below. This is going to help you set up for a great new year. All right, so let's get started. Let's take a look back on 2021 and see what we've learned so we can bring the best investing strategies into 2022. All right, looking back at 2021, we saw inflation rise and rise and rise, and man, it seems to be getting worse and worse. The Federal Reserve Board, boy, did they get it wrong. What a surprise. They came out and said, oh, inflation is just temporary. Well, now they're starting to react as if it is not, if it's going to stick around. In fact, what made them think inflation was going to be temporary? If people are getting raises like crazy, I'm not going to give that back. So inflation is going to be with us. In fact, uh, it hit, I think, 6.2% in October this year. I think it just hit 68 in November. I don't know where it's going, but uh, hopefully it'll, it, it'll modify itself. They've got it projected at 2.3% next year. Uh, good luck on that. So this is going to be a great takeaway for us. The year that prepares us for what's coming in 2022. So let's check this out. Here's some basic rules. Since 1935 till now, the dollar has lost 96% of its value. And I'm not counting what happened in 2020. I could guess real easily we're down 97%, 98% of buying power from what it was in 1935. And that's astonishing. And it is really horrific because of all of our trading partners having to stay in lockstep with the U.S. dollar. We're screwing everybody everywhere. So it'd be great if we didn't, but we can't stop because, my God, we'd go into a depression tomorrow. So I hate, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you might as well get economic reality in front of you. The best thing we can do, I think, is just try to soften it as much as possible. And that would be probably what they're doing, print more money and try to work our way out of it. I don't know exactly how they're going to do that. Meanwhile, have assets. Don't be sitting on cash for the next 10 years. Although it looks like the least risky kind of investment, it's the worst by far. That doesn't mean you should spend your cash right now. Warren Buffett's sitting on 150 to 160 billion short term. Deal with it. You know, we're looking for this market to correct and find things we can buy. All I can tell you is the only safe place to put money right now is in wonderful companies that are on sale and there's just just very difficult to find them. I would encourage you guys, get out there, learn how to do this stuff to protect your family, be the hero for your family, and get yourself prepared for an economic downturn. It could come. So we definitely saw inflation this year. We don't have hyperinflation yet. That's when it really gets rolling. We're not rolling yet, but it's going to continue into 2022, you guys. And the Federal Reserve is acting weirdly all about this inflation problem. They have said, oh, it's just temporary. And now they're talking about raising interest rates to slow it down. So they're talking out of both sides of their mouths right now. So I'm going to suggest the same thing as I said in the video, and that's to have assets in wonderful companies that can protect you from these rising prices. Companies that have big moats that can raise their prices with the increasing cost of living. Those are special, special companies that we call anti-fragile. That's what you want to go after, okay? Now, you want to buy them when they're on sale, of course. Now, another major strategy we want to bring into the new year is being prepared for a stock market crash. That's definitely what we are, you know, basically setting out to prepare for again after the crash in 2020. So let's first check out where the market was about six months ago. Well, the market's been doing some crazy things this year, right? Going all over the place. Some stocks going completely out crazy from the Reddit guys. Uh, other stocks going crazy from hedge fund managers. It's really, really interesting to watch. And many people are expecting some kind of major market correction to happen very soon. Certainly Warren Buffett's one of them. He's sitting on 150 billion in cash. But can we actually predict it? Is it possible? Okay, so we haven't seen a major market correction yet, but wouldn't you rather be ready and confident in your investments when the time does come? I know I do, I wanna be ready. 
One of those investments that I'm going to be very confident in when the time comes is cash. And that's why I'm waiting. I'm waiting and waiting in cash. When the market drops, I'm going to be buying wonderful companies for sale by the millions and millions of dollars. And I'm going to really encourage you, okay, maybe you're not going to be buying it with millions, maybe you are, but at least thousands, okay, or at least a thousand, at least get started to build generational wealth with this incredible market that's on its way. Now, here's a refresher on how we can do just that. And so what we're going to do then is start to create a list of companies that have meaning to us, that have real value to us in the world that match our values, that reflect the way we want to see the world, and also have a very large moat, some kind of durable protective advantage that keeps them uh, protected from competition. We also want management team that, that also walks their talk, right? Everybody's got a great, a great line of, uh, of, of chatter about how they're such a great company. We want management that really does take care of its people, takes care of the environment, takes care of suppliers, and really looks out for the investors as well. We want great management teams. And finally, we want a great big margin of safety. Now, the margin of safety is the easiest part of all this because that's just going to get handed to you by Mr. Market and doing what Mr. Market does, which is to get manically depressed or manically manic, whichever, whichever he happens to be in. Right now, manically manic, and the market just keeps going up. But when he gets depressed, we're going to get our margin of safety on all these wonderful companies. Now, one last major trending topic from 2021 that we should keep an eye on in 2022 is stocks in China. And I've said before, these stocks come with some risk and a lot more work because it's really hard to trust the numbers. Chinese stocks have a way of having numbers that just match up with exactly what I'm looking for. And sometimes I just don't believe them. But if you can get to the real numbers on these companies, if you even go to the trouble like we do of going to China to check it out and kick the tires, then these companies could really, really turn out well for us. Now, here's how rulers should handle Chinese stocks. So I'm not advising you guys here. This is just my opinion. Um, but listen, investing in what you don't understand or what you can't predict easily is just gambling. That's, that's all there is to it. So I'm just going to encourage you, do your due diligence. And this is really the way Rule 1 investors can invest with more confidence and less risk really dig in. If you're going to invest in China, I would strongly recommend you go there and check out the company. Make sure it is what you think it is. Kick the tires. You know, don't just go based on, 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 on what you see on paper. So since most of you probably aren't going to do that, probably most of you probably shouldn't be investing in China. So that's it, you guys. If you want to be a smarter, more confident investor in 2022, these strategies in today's market will help get you there. If you'd like to start off with a new year investing resolution, which of course I'm sure you do, then be sure to download my 14 day financially fit challenge below. And now I'd love to hear from you guys, which investing strategies have allowed you to excel year after year, or on the other hand, which have made you lose out on a lot of great opportunities. Leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure to follow up with you. And thanks for watching. Now go play. If you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about investing strategies you should bring into the new year, just hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, you can just subscribe to my channel. We got a lot there. And don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.